everybody. It's getting cooler these days. Let's make some hot soup. Soup and rice. We call this kukbap. Kuk is a soup, rice is pap. Kukbap means that rice and soup boil together. Today, I'm going to make kongnamul kukbap. Kongnamul. Soybean sprouts. Soybean sprouts. First, we are going to make delicious stock. I'm making anchovy kelp stock, but you guys, anchovies are not available. You can use chicken broth and beef stock, you know, so anything. But the soup should be delicious. Eight cups of water, I already boiled, but let's reheat. This is anchovies, nice, good looking, 12. This is the anchovy pouch. These days, you can find that Korean grocery store, like a kind of package or sometimes like in the plastic bag in Korean grocery store kitchenware section. Because I have this, I'm going to remove only intestine and but still heads and body I will use. And remove this inside like this. This is last dried anchovies. I will show you a little more clearly. Head and Press down here, like this, and then kind of black stuff. This is the inside, the intestine, remove. And then we all these guys put it in this bag. Okay, like this. And then put it this here. This is dried kelp. I like to use one ounce. And put it here. And then 20 minutes, I'm going to boil this. Delicious stuff has to come out. So 20 minutes, I'm going to boil over medium high heat. So today I'm making two servings. If you like to make the four servings, you can double the recipes and all, everything double. How many of you guys have tasted kongnamul gukba? This is a kongnamul gu, soybean sprout soup and with rice. So all boiled together. So kind of really the soup is a little kind of a little sticky because starchy coming out from the rice. And then this all mixing and bubbling, so tasty. And also we don't have to add a lot of rice, actually good for your diet because I'm using only for one serving, only half a cup of rice, that's enough. And but after eating, very filling and tasty. 20 minutes after, I will add soybean sprouts and garlic and salt. So let's watch soybean sprouts. Wash until so clean. Really clean now. And then I'm going to use these two garlic cloves for two people, two servings. And some onion and green onions. Onion around just a little amount. This is about two ounce. And I'll just slice it in. Okay. And I need garlic, two cloves, large garlic. Green onion. Now I turn down the heat to medium. Also kimchi. We have to use kimchi. Hongnam gukbap always use kimchi. This is my homemade kimchi. We need only per one serving, only one third cup. Chop it up. Small pieces. By the way, this is a fermented kimchi. Taste sour. 
And if you use fresh kimchi, it's not going to be tasty. So always use sour taste fermented kimchi. Making kong namul gukbap is so easy. If you have a fermented kimchi at home, just one package of kong namul, you buy this, make a good stock. Why I need this? Whenever I put this, you remember something? Yeah, something is happening, something is crushed. <laughs> so, uh, toasted sesame seeds. Without this, I can't think about kong namul gukbap. So, two tablespoons. Each person has one tablespoon generously. So 20 minutes already passed. And then, now, like this, wow, looks good. My God. So now, I'm going to turn up the heat with medium-high heat, soybean sprouts. And here with garlic, only garlic, salt. Salt, one and a half teaspoon, half. Cover this. This is medium high heat, and I'm going to boil this five minutes. Five minutes after, this soybean sprouts is going to be really nicely cooked. Meanwhile, this broth is getting more and more tasty. Let's go back to our old previous job. What was it? Don't forget. <laughs> this is. Smells so good. Nutty and nutty. Grind finely. So no more sound because the seeds are all mostly crushed. Now it's all done. Let's remove from the heat. Look at this. First, I like to take out Kelp and dried anchovies pouch. So I will strain this. This is an anchovy throwaway, and there's some kelp here. This soybean sprouts are well cooked. So, just we did it really delicious looking stock. Let's taste. Yum. Even I just added some little salt. So, perfect taste. And if this is too bland for you, you know, so you need more salt, later you can add some salt or shrimp sauce. I will show you shrimp sauce. Usually Koreans add shrimp sauce. Oh, what are you doing? This is like really looks delicious. Yes, it's delicious. Don't throw away. I just usually, I cut thin kind of a thread and stir fry with some oil, garlic, and soy sauce, and some sugar. You can make a really nice side dish. So, first, these two servings. So each person around a quarter cup. Bottom of your pot. Half a cup rice. And then next, kimchi. Around one third cup. After kimchi, Today's main ingredients, kongnamul, a lot of kongnamul. And then, green onion. I will leave some chopped green onions for later use. Ground black pepper around a quarter teaspoon per person. Measure two cups.
then this is perfect one bowl and then this guy also turn on the heat we still have a lot of broth left over This guy is start boiling now, bubbling, and this is uh, just a little bit. I'm going to add one egg here. Nicely. This is, you know, the kind of little red color because of kimchi. Today I'm going to eat with this my side dishes. So this is kimchi, naba kimchi vegetables and fruit kimchi and this is uh, ojinger jot. I made ojinger jot. It's a uh, fermented squid. This is seu jot, shrimp sauce. Like this. I just this is, I can bring this. And more green onion. And sesame seeds powder. I like to add a half pepper flakes. So one teaspoon. And sesame oil. That's it. So this is Kongnamul Gukbap. We made two serving. If you don't have an earthenware bowl, you can use any regular pot. And then serve like this. So let's taste. Let's wait till this egg yolk is a little bit more cooking. Yeah, wow. Good, good. Oh, oh, so good. Mmm. I gotta wait a little bit because it's too hot. <laughs> hot food eating challenge or contest. Maybe I will be number one. <laughs> Delicious, delicious. My body is really get warm right now. Texture is so crispy because of kongnamul and kimchi. And the tasty kimchi kind of sourness comes out and mix with all other delicious anchovy kelp stock. And this is really, really tasty. All each ingredient is not skippable. And let's have some egg yolk. See? Yum. Naba kimchi. When I was in uh, elementary school, fifth grade, my, we Korea, we have like each class has like 75 students in uh, one class. So many students in one classroom. My homeroom teacher is very important. The homeroom teacher is teaching all, almost all. And these days like, uh, oh, in all different subjects, you know, all teachers are coming, you know, some teaching math, teaching, you know, science, all different. But in the old days, my homeroom teacher, he's teaching everything. That means that he's very important. My teacher, his house is in front of the school, maybe 100 meters from school gate. He always, okay, you come over here. You just go to pick up my lunch from my house. I was so proud of myself in Korea around that time. Before lunchtime, we were all cleaning. Everybody has to clean. And then uh, after that, we eat lunch. So my teacher just uh, gave me a break because I, all other students are cleaning. I have to go to his house and they pick up the lunch box. And then, oh my, the, my teacher's wife, She's an awesome cook, come to think of it again. She gave me, like a, we call this a china lunchbox container, like a kind of in a second floor or third floor usually. And first floor is just rice. And then side dish. And then one day she gave me kind of a big kongnamul kukbap. And then I have to take this carry to my teacher's room. While I was carrying, I was I still hungry, right? And my mouth is worrying because of the smell. The smell is just exactly that smell. And then I had to, every each step, I had to be careful not to spill this. And then all the way, just uh, I just walked that, you know, without spilling, but a little bit spilled, but it's okay. 
Kong nam rukuk bab and I always think about my teacher. I forgot about teacher's name, but I remember his his face a little bit. But the wife's food is every day awesome. Every day she made a good good toshirak lunch box for husband. I was proud of myself to become his delivery girl. Lunch box delivery girl. <laughs> so today we made kongnamul gukbap, one bowl meal, soybean sprout soup with rice. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.